Hey everybody, so today I want to show you guys the market and the auction house and some tips and tricks and some things that people are doing wrong, some things that people are doing right, and uh, just going over on the basics of the market and the auction house since uh, I've noticed a lot of people don't even know the auction house exists or even how to open it, use it, etc. So before we begin, uh, the market itself and the auction house terminal, though you don't need it, is over there. So uh, this is where you sp start. So if you do insurance transfer and you go to your very original origin, this is where you start. You can ignore if it says start tutorial up there. That's just a proximity thing. So if we walk away, it'll go away. But literally, the uh, market and auction house is over there. So I'm just going to go and do a quick transfer over there and we'll be back here in a second. Okay, so we're over on the other side of the sign here, basically. Uh, there's a landing pad on the other side of the market. So when you see the sign, you just come over here. And this is a beautiful spot because if you go all the way down here to the market, you can go ahead and set your bind here. So if you're ever, you know, in a, a group, a company or just some friends or somebody's like meet up at the market, this is what they mean by the market itself. And this is quite a busy place normally here. Uh, so if we check this out, you can see there's people here, they're vendoring and they're, they're selling things and they're doing whatnot. Um, this used to be where they would sell all the different items here as well. They don't do that anymore. The only thing you can do here is buy armor. But keep in mind, all the armor here is a cosmetic visual uh, upgrade, basically. So it has no impact or stat changes, etc. It's just completely uh, visual. There's the auction house terminal here, which you can actually just click and use it. But uh, you can actually use the comma key. Yes, literally the comma key anywhere in the origin uh, station, even slightly outside of it. As long as it says you're within the origin station itself in the chat, then you can do it. So you can see this is just uh, the armors here you can buy. And this just makes you look cooler, basically. There, There's no need to buy this. It has no effect besides making you basically cooler. So we can go ahead and insurance transfer back down to the market here. Uh, that's what I do. That way, this is just, just my hangout spot, basically. Um, you just got to wait thing for the LOD to kick in there. There you go. Uh, so let's start with the market here. So a lot of players have been selling their ores. There's two ore terminals here, and then this is your item terminal. Now, unfortunately, with the ore terminal at this time, there's a bug. So if I try to filter this out and sell all of a one particular ore, you will sell all of your ore, not just that one particular one. Thankfully, though, if you do sort this out, and so you were to type in basic crafting one, and then... Uh, uh, you know, hit sell all, it would only sell that. I've never had a bug there yet, but uh, I just want to warn you that there is a known issue with the ore ones themselves. Now, a lot of players also use these ore ones here. You can see them. They're called the ore towers, we call them. There's one there. There's one under it. There's there's one here. Uh, those there, there are multiple slots on them. Basically, it's a place where you can refuel your propellant. Uh, battery and as well as sell your ores. Now the problem with that is a lot of people are selling ores that are actually quite valuable and it's just not it's just not worth it honestly. Uh, it's better to sell them on to the auction house. So if we hit the comma key, remember the auction house is upstairs, if we hit the comma key we can bring up the auction house here and here's your buy. So basically a lot of people are like how do you find the fuel rods right? So if you type in fuel rod and this is where people get kind of lost and mixed out. So we're going to go to, I think it's under machinery or is it devices? I think it was a machinery. I was right. Um, I had to go to the second page. So uh, unfortunately, the filtering when searching isn't working correctly. Uh, in most games, the idea of a filter would literally just you know bring it to the first page. But unfortunately, it doesn't on this one. Uh, it, it'll still be on the page that it's in ordered. So if we, we delete fuel rod in here and it's like, okay, so you scroll through here. Uh, fuel rod is on the second page somewhere on here. So we scroll through here and we should, yeah, here it is. Tier 1, fuel rod, tier 2, fuel rod. Uh, so that's how you can buy your fuel rod. You can go ahead and just buy a purchase here. So you just click buy and there you go. Now we can list this on the auction house obviously as well. Uh, let me just open my parts here. Uh, I have these just filtered out. So you can drag it here. Uh, normally your, your, your screen will look like this. So you can either do single listing, which is actually kind of a stack. So if you take ore, for example, example, just pretend this is like items. You can actually stack them there and this will list three of them at a set price. So you'll say, OK, I want to sell them at. Well, you can see they're worth 12, you know, so I'll say I want to sell them for 1200 or 12K. Sorry. And I'll say single listing. This is undercutting it a lot, but it'll sell all three of them at that price and then when I create an auction it's listed at that price and it should show up here very very fast because somebody's always buying these ores uh, so it should pop up here any second that I've sold said ore and uh, 
That's that's pretty as simple as listing it. But ORs get actually a little easier because what you can do is you can right click ORs and you can actually say sell you know ten of them for example. So I can go ahead. Oh look at the undercutting. Yeah, undercutting is a really weird thing. Some people will undercut like really severely, um, which is it doesn't make sense because you're you're losing out your your credits anyways because these move so fast. Like literally the twelve twenty four. So I could say twelve you know twelve. Three nine, basically, you'd be better off there. Uh, but I can sell ten of them now and just throw them up, and there you go. So that's how you can do them with stacks on there. Unfortunately, items themselves don't have stack support. I just want to let you know. Uh, but anyways, you can put your fuel rod on here. It's worth three hundred. Now, before you do that, what you should be doing is going to your storage and seeing what that fuel rod is worth. Okay, so two twenty six. So if I sold that for three hundred, I wouldn't be losing much money um, at all if I were to vendor it. And the reason I mention that is there are some materials that are floored so badly that if you were to put them on the auction house, you'd actually lose money versus vendoring it. Uh, a common one tends to be actually ice. A ice is uh, eight. Oh, somebody just sold ice for 80. I don't know why they would do that, but there you go. We bought a couple, for example. Somebody just, they probably made a typo to be fair. Uh, but if we go ahead and type in ice here, right? Ice sells for 816 to a vendor. So you actually would legitimately lose uh, by selling it on the auction house. Because not only it's 800, you're losing 10% of that 800 if you were to sell it on here. Now, the only other problem is, of course... Um, like I said, it, the sell all, if you filter on just ice, is broken. So if I were to hit sell all, uh, it would literally sell every single ore, and that's a bad thing. And another thing you can do about that is just literally open up your auction house and go ahead and sell. So we hit the comma key, and we, we can just what we can do here is we can just go to sell, and then you could just go ahead and list all your ores for a very expensive amount. It's kind of a, a silly thing. Uh, and I didn't mean to drag it. There you go. You just right click and say sell all 108 of them and then just pick up a really expensive price. Like, OK, I'm not willing to sell this whatever. But, you know, if this were to sell at, you know, 16,000, uh, I wouldn't care as much. Right. So, you know, you set to 16. And if it were to sell for that, sure, why not? I'll make profit out of what I probably paid for it. But um, so it's kind of a win lose situation. And it's set to two weeks, I put it. So. That in that case, I, I would make a good profit if it were to sell. So there, there's some fun things like that you can do with that. Uh, so that's that's pretty much the auction house on there. It's uh, the big one is just be careful, uh, keep an eye on you know what things are worth. Uh, you know, obviously what's worth on the auction house slash what's worth to sell the vendor. If it doesn't sell, if you cancel it, etc., you do not get charged the 10% fee. It's only charged if you were to sell the item, and then you get 10% of whatever it sold for. And uh, you know that's pretty much it. So um, yeah, and don't don't forget when you're when you're transferring ores uh, from your ship, you can just right click the ores as well, and then tell them to transfer. Actually, it's pretty badass for that. So your 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 container on your state ship itself, when you right click, it will actually allow you to transfer like the bulk of your ores all at once. There's an actual option for that. Uh, don't click a partial one. Click a full stack of ore, and it will literally just zap it all through there. So. Uh, pretty good system. Uh, selling it in bulk in higher numbers should really sell better, but unfortunately, a lot of people like spamming one, one, one at a time. Um, but hopefully, the market will get better where you know you can buy stacks or sell stacks a little easier. Uh, just because I don't want to sit there and buy one at a time when you know maybe somebody is charging a few credits more, and I can buy a whole you know 50 stacks at once. To me, that that's more worth it, especially my time, than going through one by one. But um, Definitely needs a bit of update, but then again, there is the big uh, update coming soon for the market. Uh, well, I shouldn't say for the market, for your inventory, where it's doing the stacking. So the items themselves should stack, uh, sort of like the ores do now. Uh, I'm hoping actually the ores will stack as well, so you'll see like a whole different style of this, but we'll obviously have to see. But items themselves should stack, that way you'll be able to have you know multiple fuel rods that are full stacked up. And when you list them, you should be able to do stack listing as well. But when you also vendor them, instead of just seeing the you know multiples down the list here, you'll just see one, and you'll actually be able to say, okay, I want to sell three of those or all of them, things like that. And they already have it in, in the market, so obviously the support is already partially there. It's just they have to give the inventory support in there. So um, we'll see when that comes in. But uh, yeah, basically, yeah, when you're around the station, you hit the comma key, 
And, um, you know, obviously there are some wars like ice that are not worth uh, selling on the auction house. So that's a good example of where you just go ahead and take it and sell it at the, uh, you can either sell it here, obviously, or you can go ahead and sell it at one of the ore towers. And there's a lot of them. They're, they're all over the place, but those are the ore towers there. And you can actually refuel your ship there as well. But, um, yeah, hopefully that's a, a, a basic, you know, guide to the market and the auction house system. Nothing too fancy. I just I just see so many people suffering and not knowing about the auction house that I thought it was important to tell them, especially since most people think you have to go upstairs and use the, the actual terminal um, or they don't even know that a terminal exists. They only might know only know about the market itself and they're just vendoring everything. I mean, completely everything. Um, I'm pretty sure Lori even said like he was surprised how many people were vendoring things and I think the fact is there's no tutorial there's no guide there's I don't even think there was any information about the auction house um, I just knew because I was in closed alpha but also I knew because in the change logs they talked about having the the comma key there uh, so you can open it up wherever so anyways I hope that helps everyone out thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe comment like and we'll see wonderful people next time have a wonderful day goodbye